Hello and welcome. It is the end of the year 2019, which means year-end videos. Do them over the next couple of days. Start off with silver. All bets, trades of the likes within each his own risk and their own reward. We're going to go multiple time frames, hourly, and then we'll go daily, weekly, monthly, triple month, and then the yearly for the for the 12 month for the yearly. Those will be all the time frames. Okay. So within the first one, the short term one, we've had this nice little uptrend from the lows on December 19th at around 17. The price went up to about 18, a little change. So a buck and 20, buck 20. Not quite, but more than 5%, but not quite 10. A lot of support has been tested from the beginning of its original test on the December 26th morning at around 1785. Testing it again, December 27th, start of the day. And it did so for a few periods. And then it did again at 1500 hours. Did again on December 30th in the morning. And today it did, did it all day, since the morning. In doing so, the resistance level it was like a little curvature thing like this. So therefore, it was in a downtrend. This little high here was more of a consolidation from this high. Then the failed breakout, no more way of putting it because this level of support is what it was what I'd be saying. Okay, it was resistance before. Now you have a clear breakout to previous high, even pierced above it and even congested and stayed above it for a decent amount of time, but no support here. It resisted it, as we can see. This little bit in here resisting this level and from this decline how do you react to this decent move well, a couple sideways and a little bit of falling here so now a little bit of resistance shorter term might happen here i don't know but we're in now in this test of this lower area we can still have a decent amount to go lower and decent amounts like seven cents and still be in the lower end of this range but if you break below then we start to talk about okay i'm not going to calculate but fibonacci from here to here this is 23.6%, so you look at 38.2% down, and 61.8, yada, 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 daily term. And the spoiler that I'm going to give for the long term is that this correctionary phase is very crucial. We'll talk about that many, many longer term time stream from now. But we have this low end of the second quarter or near late in the second quarter, we'll call it. 14 low change, rallying up to 19 high change near 20. And then a pattern of lower lows and lower highs appear, which makes this move very interesting because it gets above this high. It's technically a lower high or still right now on this, but it's a matching high. Most importantly, it's had a sustained amount of periods, like six, seven of them or so, with this newly rising 18 average. It had a few periods where it stayed amongst it here before this move even occurred. See how, again, this is going to be very important. This hold here, very, very important on the somewhat short term, but really for what it's worth, holding in here is where it's really going to come down to as far as being important. And the best analysis for the next time frame, which is the weekly, is what it has been in for quite some time, and that is choppy. What we have here is, well, we were above the 18 average of highs with this move for quite some time, getting up to near 20, correcting within this little bit for a, well, for a few periods. It held and stayed above the 18 average of low. So when I say holding and staying above, that means it goes below it. But whatever support it establishes below it has to hold. And boy, did it ever testing it on a few occasions. And then we can see over the last few weeks managing to go higher. But overall, again, this is nothing more than a choppy mess over the last half of this decade, which is pretty much over. Now on to the monthly term time frame. 
So the big lows down here at four dollars, or the low lows, whatever you want to take a look at it as. I say big is in the fact like OMG that like that it actually managed to get that low from where we came from for that long of a time. Of course, we'll see that more on the quarterly. But from this high, after it obviously failed to correct this particular time, it's been that sustained downtrend that it had. So after it, now we've had a little bit of a bear market run or a a contrary trend within a primary uptrend from this low to this high and thus making what looks like a higher low to this one which should have been expected but it's been a very much a long period of time within what is really this long correctionary phase the story of it is first you had this range when it had its original one between the 28 to 35 dollar point we'll say and then the decline and then this range and this range is its support represents where it's now been resisting and really this is only this for what it's worth we're only doing it for the second time because this is the first and this now here we are at the second so within this decline in here we've had this low and really only tested once more again it's been some higher levels tested more frequently, but it's been an entire sideways range. So whether you want to say it started here, whether it was in here, it's now been a few periods doing this. 18 average of lows. It comes in at 15.50. Again, the state for it to hold because just as it goes, and I know it didn't happen the last time, but if it doesn't happen the last time and it happens again, I do say watch out. When you have an attempt like this to get above, and I'm going to remove these drawing tools again, but you get above the 18 like this, and it fails. And the failure is when you see the weakness on the 18. So before, on this one, there was your attempt, supports it. it this one here went down below the scary point, but... It held and stayed above it here, got up to the highs, success, success, success. There's the failure right in here. Oftentimes from fail, moves, moves fast, moves. Not this time, because it only came down to here and re really t even tested it. Yeah, retested it, but it pierced above it, not even below it. Okay, so it didn't happen there when you had the failure from the 18. You resist the highs, you're still not out of the woods yet. You got the declining move, moving average, few periods down. But when this happened, we can see this band goes flat. Now the new statement with all that happened in this rally at the first uh, half of the year. New statement. So period number four. We, we had exitation on this period. Didn't finish it. We have exitation on this one. Of course, it's now a completion. The silver year ends at 1792. Last year, the final price was 15 and a half, we'll say. So we gained a little under two and a half, 240. Mm, that's about uh, not seven or so, or uh, 7%, 17%, uh, 15, yeah, 17%. Not much. Now let's move us on to the quarterly chart which here had the 18 average low support in the 2008 fall and not supported here when it broke down on this level thus it started to be a declining facet stayed many quarters within this band and this one in here what do we have well the previous one not this one but quarter three of 2019 we have it piercing noticeably above the line. That's an attempt to uh, revert the trend. First stage in a downtrend is neutralize it, and that's been done. I mean, it, the, the neutralization was pretty much even done. But a lot of times it happens with the, this first good move from the lows. But even still, it was, it was neutral even before. Like these two periods in here, the first two quarters this year, yeah, they, they were totally, uh, they, uh, new, they neutralized it. So now that it was neutral and got above, now it's okay. Next step is try to revert it. So it had a small, barely noticeable break above. It closed in that area. And 
And it also had this period where it was just this little state around it, state in that area. And we look at it even further. An inside day, I suppose, would be on the daily term time frame when the, uh, pr the current period is the high is lower than the last one. Not even close on this one. It's well, well lower. But even more so, this low might be higher than its previous quarter. Quarter's over, closing at 17.92. It's an inside quarter. The 18 average of lows comes in at 15.28. So with this attempt that I see here, and the fact that it successfully congested and corrected it, that tells me it's a serious attempt. So if this 18 lows fails, it'd be a fast move. I don't think it's going to happen. But like I stated before, this is why any correctionary moves that occur. I mean, it can go down a decent amount. I don't think that's going to happen. To me, this looks like a very powerful setup as we move forward. So I can go all I want about yearly predictions, yada, yada, yada. Let's go through some of the safer ones. I predict there'll be 366 calendar days in the year. And I predict that on December 31st next year, or 366 days from now, that the United States dollar will be the primary measure of trade in the United States. Of course, I'm not going to say that for 2029's New Year's Eve. It's just... Like I state, I only want gold and silver in my safe if I can't open it for years. I don't want private keys to cryptos. I don't want fiat currency. They could be worth nothing. And in fact, what could currency be worth? Is it going to be worth anything spectacular or gain? No. no, no. How about crypt cryptos? It could be spectacular. Keyword is could be. I don't think there really is any could be's when we look at Long-term analysis on if gold and silver ends up surviving as we move forward. That's my belief. That's how I'm moving forward. That's why I love holding and accumulating the physical precious metals and will continue to do so whenever I have availability and resources to do such. And thankfully, within cryptos over the last little while, I've been able to increase the supply for both the precious metals. But as it goes on this, because it was a downtrend and it was an attempt to do this. If this can break out, now we start to talk about the situation of this high. Matching up with this one. Higher low here. When you have a move from this one, as long as it can... I mean, really, you're looking to stay hold and stay above like 8. And, well, I guess from here it kind of did. But then higher low to here. Okay, sweet. Getting above this. I don't like the chances of good resistance here around 50. Uh, maybe it might pull back to like 25 or even then I wouldn't even know. But that I'm, that doesn't count as good resistance. If you're trying to sell at 50 to buy back at 25 when this thing's got the capability of having monstrous moves higher, I don't know what else to say. Let's finish this off within the yearly term time frame. And I don't have too many periods on this, but I'm going to go with it. I got the 18 average doing where it's doing in the current spot and it's, it's an, an interesting situation. And this high, you know what, whatever number, it's it, to me it's 51, $50, 51 52 area. And then when you do it on the Canadian dollar side, oh, it's even much higher, like 70, whatever it was. With that being said, I mean, that's just a wild move. And for the year, I said 17, 15.32% for the year. It's up in 2019. We had a big violent down year of 36% down here in 2013. In 1979, that year was up 374% almost. No, 373. But I mean, those numbers are all, so that was the past. But it also means it closed that year at $29.05. We'll say 29 even, and we'll say it's 18 even now. We're down $11 in the last 40 years years there's 365 and a quarter days in a year so there's 3650 ish and 10 so you can multiply that number by four 
We're in that 15,000 ballpark area. I've even bit over that number now, I think. For how many days it has been? Silver's down. 11 on 29. 14 and a half is 50 percent so it's down a decent amount the fact that it's in that situation should be alarming in itself given what you should already know about mo monetary numbers and not the exact numbers but well, how many fiat currencies were in existence then to today how many times have they increased the supply and it's always worth noting that within markets, it's not a surprise and it's been done a lot of times in history where market prices in whatever market we're talking about during peak and down periods will be worth a lot more or less than what its fair value should be. And $52 might have been a little too high back then. But even then, if it never got there, if silver just say topped here, at ten dollars we'll say and i think then that might have been way too cheap of a price maybe some around 20 might have been the fair price and i think my and i think 20 is more accurate i think that would have been more closer and as it goes that it was first where gold was concerned when it got to this point they were just able gold was pretty much at that fair price based on monetary supply at least based on data that mike maloney has shown at that point and then he has written in his books so it got pretty much to the proper price at that time, which was interesting. But if it only got up here, that means you'd expect, okay, well, if something was worth $12, $13 in 1980, or 40 years later, how much is it worth now? Well, how much was the stock market worth back then? It was around 1000 bucks at its peak at that time. And now it's over 20000 oh, Okay, just something to keep in mind. As far as we're at right now in here, Several periods staying within this 18 average of lows. The 18 average of highs for years has been at around $23.13-ish. I can get the exact numbers. Uh, where's the high? Okay, 23.15 this year, 23.15 last year, 23.30 the year before that, 23.27 before that, 22.87 before that. So it's been 23, 23 we'll call it say that's an interesting level but successfully correcting this when this thing get takes off just watch out and the takeoff point breaking above as well as 23 so getting above 23 to change noticeably is like 26 area this thing has the potential to go because when you have a move like this low big big move of this nature you come down and successfully correct the 18 like this as you do for several periods and then you break out it could just be dynamite anyway have yourself a happy new year bye bye